Hi students, so today we are going to start with a new chapter, Electric Field and Charges. Students, this is the first chapter of your class 12 standard physics and it is a very, very important chapter. If you look at this chart out here, for the past five years, you would notice for both these examinations, that is your boards and J mains, this chapter has got a very high weightage. Not only that, the most important thing is the questions which are coming from this topic are really very simple. So it is definitely a highly scoring chapter. So students, let's get rolling and begin with this particular chapter here. Electrostatics is the branch of physics that studies about charges at rest. Now, there are a number of phenomena in the nature that take place due to these static charges. Now, for number one, you must have all seen thunder lightning in the rainy season. You must have also seen your friends playing with ruler and tiny bits of paper where the small bits of paper get stick to the ruler. Or you must have also experienced walking on a fur carpet and then try touching a door knob. There is a tiny spark between the fingers and the door knob. Now all of these take place due to static charges or charges at rest. Now the question is, where do these charges generate from? Or what are these electric charges? In order to explain this, let me take you on a journey with atoms. Students, anything you see around you is made up of matter. And matter in turn is made up of atom. So let me take an atom and show it to you. What do you see here? In the central, you have the nucleus. The nucleus has got what? Protons and neutrons. The proton has a charge of 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. The neutrons has no charge at all. They are neutral. And around the nucleus, you will observe that we have electrons revolving around them. And these electrons have a charge of minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. So what do you observe? The charge of a proton is equal to the charge of a electron. And students, for any atom, the total number of protons and the total number of electrons, they are always the same. So I can say any atom at any point of time is electrically neutral. So where are these charges coming from or how am I charging a body? Let us try and understand. Now for this, what we will do is, we'll take two atoms. Atom 1 and atom 2. Atom 1 has got 10 protons and 10 electrons and atom 2 also has got 10 protons and 10 electrons. Now understand this students, the outermost electron is very very loosely bound to the nucleus. So I can take one of these electrons and transfer it to the second atom. What would happen? Atom 1 will have more protons than the electrons. So the total positive charge of atom 1 will be more. So atom 1 will get positively charged. And in atom 2, if you notice, there will be more electrons than the number of protons. So atom 2 will have more negative charged. So it will be negatively charged. So atom 1 will get positive charge and atom 2 will get negative charge. So this is how in a fundamental level, we go ahead and charge our bodies. We have seen just now that how charges are being created. Let us look at some of the properties of these charges. So the first property says that charges are a scalar quantity. What do we mean by that? That is charges can be added just like numbers 
we don't need to bother about the direction as in in which direction is the electron flowing all right the second property says the charges are conservative in nature that means charges can neither be created nor destroyed but you may oppose to the point that sometime back we created a positive charge and a negative charge that is atom 1 had positive and atom 2 had negative charge but if I take both of them as a system, then the total positive charge and the total negative charge would be equal in number. So the net charge would be equal to zero. Third property and the final property, it says that charges are quantized. What do I mean by quantized? Remember the charge of an electron, which is minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb is the smallest amount of charge that can be present in any body. So all other charges are nothing but an integral multiple of this smallest charge. So charges could be expressed as Q equals to N E where N is an integer and E is the charge of a electron. 